switch this up real quick are oh, you good you good no i gotta i gotta play with this real quick uh while you do that i'm gonna open stuff <laughs> you're always ready to go hold on yeah that's right okay <laughs> i need to drop this real quick let me see this drop that run this It's rare for y'all to actually see my actual hair color. So that's happening right now. Not gonna lie. Oh, shit. Wait. I was going the wrong folder when I'm grabbing my, my music stuff. Right, give, me, <laughs> give me what you got to work with, boss man. Let me get the uh, the example thing I have in here. There it is. Alright. Okay. Let's hope. Let's hope this works. No. Alright. I need the actual. Now it's not letting me do it again, so let me go into my settings real quick. It's not letting you do it again? Yeah. I'm gonna try rechecking the, uh, uh, the, the first thing that I unchecked, not the... That, uh, modern oh. video or whatever. Yeah. I'm gonna try rechecking that, see what it does. As soon as I can find it again. That's voice. I, I see why it's doing that now. Okay. Hold up. Let me. Okay. No. See why it's doing it. Okay, never mind. I see what's going on. I gotta make that a thing. Okay, so you got it. Okay, cool. Up, oh, no, it went away. Here we go again. Didn't you have it just working though? Yeah, and then I had to get rid of the uh, that one thing in the advanced settings, and now it's being dumb again. I, I ain't gonna lie, I see why you frustrated though. Not not gonna. I'm not gonna this lie. This happened. Though. This happened once before with my mic. Mhm. Mm yeah, it's it's not letting me share it. It should. Okay, let's just do this then. Hold on. I got an idea. Okay. Let me. I need to. Hold up. Let me. Uh. Let me like that. Oh wow. Hold up. Oh boy. Um uh, if I share just one screen, that'll be any different. 
Are you trying to nope. share multiple screens? No, I was sharing my uh my just the whole screen in general. I was gonna share like one window. Oh. To see oh, if that okay. made sense. Okay. Hold on. Okay, now see if it does it. If it don't do it now, then it's definitely you. Let's go. All right. <laughs> so you should be able to see it now. Okay. Hold up real quick. Let me. Boom. All right. Wait, why is this not? Going, oh, damn, would help if I actually hit turn on. There we go. All right, there. All right, run it the way you're gonna run it, man. Okay, so you can hear this, right? Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so there's a couple ways that you can. Hey, you well. what's up? Not my bad, I was saying, hit it, and well. Okay, so yeah, so there's a couple ways that you can actually split the vocals from the the whole song. Uh, usually, the first thing that I do is I I look on YouTube or some and just Google in general to see if there is already a vocal version. Yeah, it's, it's a headache. Other ones, uh, I agree. If, there's several websites that'll split it. Now, obviously, they're not going to be perfect. Usually, you can hide imperfections behind the music that you put behind it. But if you have to do it yourself, there's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, I use this uh, Isotope RX9. It'll do the same thing. It splits the, you can split the vocals off it. But if you can't do that, if you can find like just the instrumental, like the the single with the baddest from Kada came with the the song, the instrumental, and the vocals. Yeah. So I have all that here. So. On so that so that that does like three different versions then right like correct me if i'm wrong on that yeah so i already have all three of them here so this is perfect to show you how this works okay so if you can find either the just the vocal if you want the beat or if you can find just the beat if you want the vocal uh if you can't find the optimal version you can go basically the route of doing it yourself like this so basically music in general is just noise yeah. and noise is just waves Agreed. they've got a they've got a phase so if i zoom in here you can see how all these the waves are lining up so if you just find if you want the vocals and you just find the instrumental so this is what you have you have the song and you have the instrumental so what you can do is you go in you want to make sure it's lined up as exact as you possibly can yeah obviously this is already set up to be like that because it's the official versions so and then the one thing that you can do is for sound for waves in general whether it's sound light whatever if you take the phase of that wave and you invert it it cancels it out right yeah, like that that's basic science yeah so if we play those two together we have the full song and the instrumental and the instrumental is louder because it's doubled up so if we take the instrumental yeah. and we go i don't know why this oh, is okay into the settings and then where did it go invert phase so basically what if i zoom in you'll see that Instead of it being lined up, yeah. you find a... It's kind of like upside down. Parallel yeah, to the find, here we go. A good spike. It's it's just, it's opposite. Yeah. So now, when we play that together, like that, the instrumental and the, the full song. Yeah. You literally have no sound coming out of that. There's nothing at all? No. Try. Like I had to make sure my shit was unmuted. All right. That was working earlier. 
Here, let me try this actually. Let me let me stop sharing here and I'll just share uh Reaper, see if that works. So we go here, share Reaper. Cause I know sometimes uh Discord likes to not play nice with sound. Oh shit. Yeah, that works. Okay. So if you take let me re reverse that again. Yeah. So if we play them both together without the phases reverse, you just get the track, but the the instrumentals louder or the the vocals are louder. Yeah. But if we take the thing and we flip the phase so that they're they're opposite and they're clashing, this is what you get. And I can take this and unsolo the instrumental so it's just the song. Yeah. That beat hard. That, I like that beat. Yeah, it, it's that? A, it that's is yours. Amazing. Uh, no, this is from Kada, KDA, the same ones that did uh, Villain. No, I know that. I'm saying, did you do that remix though? That's not like the oh, remix no, version. No, this is the regular version. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, this is just a regular version. Uh, so you know what it is. I'm used to hearing the rock version. I have the rock version <laughs> and the top the screw version from LG. That's what it, I'm so damn used to hearing. It. So yeah, if you can find like the instrumental or the the vocal track only, you can line it up the best you can and then flip it. And usually you can get a fairly clean. the The issue that you get here is you can still hear some of the instrumental in there. But most yeah. of that will disappear when you put it in there. But if you really want to get rid of it, you can find like a something to sort of knock out noise. Mm -hmm. That's going to mess with the vocals a little bit. So you have to doctor that up. But it works the same with the vocals. So like if I have the vocals here. Real, real wild. And if I want to do the same thing, I just go in, invert the phase, and then... Doesn't work quite as well because literally all it's doing is it's canceling out the frequency. Yeah. And see, um, Audition has some like that, where it's like you can just literally just like <clears throat> rip the, rip the um probably voice and but it's not like this though. It's something totally different. It's like I mean tone the music all the way down. Right. Some I mean some of them do that. Like if I go, I can actually pull. Uh, let me pull up uh, Isotope real quick, and I'll switch over to that. Yeah, and that it it the Isotope pretty much does that. It is a like a full sort of. It's meant to like repair audio in a way, because like it's got like you can remove clicks, pops, you can remove uh, guitar noise, you can. There, there's just a whole mess of things that you can do in there. So I'll go over here and stop sharing here and. Bring it up to Isotope. And it's it's super basic. Like <laughs> this is your interface. So yeah, I'll I'll go and grab uh actually I'll grab villain. I know you wanted me to remix that. I'll grab villain and show you with that. Yeah. This villain might actually work pretty well because the instrumental is not super complex overbearing. Yeah. <clears throat> This that's super loud. Hold on. You ain't lying. And I actually have this part cut down to half. Yeah. And it was still loud. Uh where is there not? Shows you how much time I I spend in, in this. I don't even know if this has a volume down in the thing. What's that thing on the left though? <clears throat> down. Above the clock. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh, that goes between uh, um, the wave type, you see. Oh, okay. Uh, is it? Wow. See if I can't figure this out real quick, because I don't want to blow people. <laughs> people's eardrums out. All right. Can you turn it down, the stream down yeah. more? Yeah. Right. Well, I, don't, I don't see that. And it's RX doesn't show up in my play it, play it real quick.
Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Go ahead. So the beat's not super overbearing. So like I can take here and then it's the is it at? Music rebalance. Single click, not double. So we have the sections here where we can split it up. And so if I just want the vocals, mm -hmm. I just take all these and pull them down. I'll take that short spot there and render it. See, hopefully it'll render real quick. It takes a while sometimes. But yeah, all these really do is they're trying to pull out the frequencies that aren't usually associated with a vocal track, which is usually like your mid range uh, to like low mid to high mid sort of range. Yeah. <clears throat> and again, it's not always perfect, but nine times out of ten, you can uh you can hide it within the mix. Like that black pink one that I did, that that <laughs> that vocal was a struggle to work with. <laughs> oh really? Yeah, I ended up being able to set it up in a way where I could like make some of the things that were coming through part of the song though. So that that helped. Yeah, so this is what. Yeah. So, like, you still hear some of it in there. So, what I would probably do is after I do the whole thing, I would go through and find an area where there's just the thing that I want to get rid of, highlight it in my editor, and like noise reduce that down throughout the whole thing. And then I'd boost some stuff up in, uh, with an EQ. And like you could do the same thing with the rest of these. Like if you just want the music, like the percussion, you can down yeah. here and render that out too. It's <clears throat> you can even separate it, which is cool. You can separate and download the rest of them, like all of them together. But yeah, it's it's a super simple thing, but it's really frustrating to do, and sometimes it can be tedious. Because like if you if you can't just find a good vocal track this what i'm doing here might not be the last step or if you have to download like the the original track and the vocal track from youtube from two different sources doing the the phase reversal may not be the last step you got to go in meticulously kind of knock stuff out and basically <laughs> doctor it up so yeah, here's just the the percussion You can hear, yeah, it's it's nice. I mean, yeah. you can still hear some of the vocals coming through, but again, like I said, that's that they expect the vocal range to be like the low mid to the uh high mid. So you're you're still gonna get some in there, but for remix person or remix purposes, it's not bad. And like the the phases, you can go back and back and forth of the waves yeah i mean you can this has like a, a mouth de-click guitar yeah. denoise there's even a, a de-winder i don't even know what that is like uh if if you're recording something like outside mm -hmm. like you get wind noise in the microphone that's what that targets But I mean, like, they have all the, the, the repair stuff all through here. This is probably my one of my favorite gifts I've ever been given. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's so nice. Like, if I record a guitar piece and it's not as sharp or something, I can just, I can throw it in here and mess with the stuff. Or, like, after after I reverse the phase and the track that I get, like, from, that I download, like, from YouTube. Yeah. I can throw it in here and kind of clean up some of it. Or even just do the whole vocal clean up here. It's the, the downside is this is like after effects versus like video rendering to like music render. This takes way longer than it would to just render out a track that you that you recorded. Yeah, it's it's simple. It's not super complicated it's just tedious no i can and i can actually believe that <clears throat> seeing with all the stuff i've done you know what i mean i can it's right. really just it's just you have to really understand and know what you're doing 
And honestly, a lot of those, the, like the website ones, mm -hmm. if you just look up like websites that will let you extract vocals from a song, you'll find a lot of them. And a lot of them are coming a long way. Oh, really? Like some of them are almost perfect. <laughs> like it's scary how good they are. <laughs> and they're as simple as like uploading, selecting, uh, selecting what you want and then downloading it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, and then usually, again, usually you don't have to have it like super perfect because whatever's left, you can usually hide in, in the remix. Like you can't hear any of the, uh, the, the unwanted stuff in any of my remixes because the instrumental themselves kind of hide that. There's also another trick that you can do that makes the, the vocal rip sound perfect when it's not within the music. Uh, I can't remember if I've done this in any of mine yet, but you can stop the music yeah, and just have like a vocal part on its own, like as like a transition. And if you can clean that up well enough, it kind of makes, it gives the, the, uh, the illusion that the whole thing is that clean. So, so it's like if you're drawing a picture or doing a video, you have this one part that's in the focus and then the rest of it's kind of a little bit blurry and not as detailed. Yeah. Because the thing in focus is detailed. Everything else looks detailed. <laughs> because ironically, brains are stupid. They like to fill things in. But yeah, it's, that's all it is. It's, it's as simple as, you know, reversing the phase if you can find the stuff or it or... Uh, I mean, some like there's a lot of K-pop groups, for example, that will release a single and then they'll release the instrumental with the single. I acapella, right? Or sorry, I said the acapella, or you just the, like just just the instrumental. Oh, uh, Kato's the only one that I've seen that actually put the acapella in there, which. <laughs> Which shocked me, but some of them will like if I go into my music folder here, like uh, BTS has a couple that they've put the instrumentals for, and the thing, uh, like in the release. I think Third Eye does it. Uh, yeah, yeah. So here I'll. I'll share that Good. again. Hold on, hold on. I was gonna say, okay, so what make that program and the first program you show better than like Adobe uh, Edition and stuff oh, like that? The one where I was reversing the faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that's just Reaper. That's what I recorded the music in. I'm just used to using that, so I know where the phase reverse oh, thing is. Oh, okay, okay. I'm that's with all. you now. I'm with you now. Okay. Uh, the, the isotope one is literally, uh, my secondary editor. That's, I don't have it connected to uh reaper. I have Adobe edition connected to reaper just cause I've had that for forever. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's simple too. Like you can go in, chop things up, clean it up a little bit real quick. Yeah. And then the isotope is where I go. If I really want to like surgically <laughs> mess with stuff. Uh, but yeah, like, cause I was this... thinking you can do a lot more stuff than I can. I mean, like. I could do certain stuff, but like, like, yeah, I've just gotten used to using different, uh, programs for different things. Like I, to record like the guitars and drums and all that, that's all done in Reaper. Yeah. Uh, usually to do like the, like my dubstep stuff or where I have to like program the MIDI stuff for actual instruments, not like the, just the drum hits mm -hmm. that I'll do in FL studio. And then depending on what I need to do with the something to edit it, it is where I'll put it. No, and, and that's totally like, understand why I get that. Like I said, you, you yeah. got more of a pro professional outlook and <laughs> Kinda, style yeah. and everything else. I'm just playing with bits and pieces, throwing shit yeah, at like, the wall, testing stuff and hoping it work out the way I want it. To. I mean, that's how I learned. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I got to sit, I got to sit in the studio with some, you know, some professionals like uh, Joey Sturgis. I've been in the studio with him. He's done a couple of my band's older albums. Oh, really? 
yeah so i've i've like sat there and watched what he does too and i've asked questions and yeah. kind of picked it apart and from there like if i really need to know something and i can't figure it out yeah usually for things like reaper or fl studio you can just google it or uh go to youtube and somebody's likely i already got the answer for you yeah you see that's really what i've been doing that that's how i learned how to do the thing i did from jelly it's like yeah but that that shit so that's so damn time for something like holy fuck yeah oh boy yeah, like this this album here. Uh, this is Third Eye. They're another K-pop group. Yeah. Their their first album, their first single. They have the the song, and then they also have the instrumental. Uh, same thing with the second one. They have the song and the instrumental. So a lot of some groups do this. So like, if anything, if you're if you need to rip a vocal track or you just want the instrumental, chances yeah. are you could probably find it. Okay. Yeah, it's it's that simple. The, the crazy thing is though, like you you don't find too many people doing it no more though. Yeah, you really don't. Like I've now back in the day, oh yeah, you had hella people doing like just doing just straight acapella, straight instrumentals, and then just a straight yeah. song. You ain't finding too many people doing that no more. Yeah, it's. I mean, you can usually find it or get it if you need it, but like, it feels like so many people that are doing like the the reimagines of the songs like yeah. kind of like i do with with the remixes there there's not many doing that anymore <laughs> like they clean up this one section of a song or one or two sections of a song and then that's that's the vocal part that they remix through the whole song yeah i gotta admit like I, as a I, as a actual like dubstep fan I I can admit not all dub stuff is good dub stuff to me. Some of that shit just annoying. Yeah. Like yeah, I mean I prefer the heavy hitting stuff. Yeah. The, like, I'm like a, the heavier. I'm a, I'm a Vex fan. Don't get me wrong. I love Vex. Vex is fucking awesome. Yeah, I listen to like a lot of like Schism and some of older like uh. Some of older like Skrillex and there's uh yeah. what what's his name like Knife Party and people like that. I, and like I, I have. I like I have a random folder with just random dubstep tracks on it too. Yeah. That's how um that's how my um I got an old ass CD book, none but like 30 goddamn CDs and none but chopped and screwed music. Like I can't even I can't even find them songs no more, even if I wanted to. It's got art. Yeah, it's it's difficult. I mean with all with the way they're doing like the copyright stuff too, that like they're going after people they shouldn't be able to like yeah people who are remixing that's they're not there to replace the listening of the song it's, it's you got anything laying around that you it's meant to add it? to it and make something new 13. 13. uh what i said you got anything laying can you around hear me? That, yeah i can hear you okay you, you got anything laying around that you know who Of you know who? Yeah. I'm trying to say it without I'm not sh- saying it. You mean the lady? Yes. Well, since you said it now, I'll say your woman. Yeah. 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 I mean, other than the one remix that I've done, I don't have anything else. See, I didn't even know you did. I mean, that. I've. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's up. Uh, you've listened to it. Is that the one I'm thinking of? Mm-hmm. I did not know that. <laughs> I've, ne- I've never asked either. Yeah. I did not fucking know yeah, that. That's, yeah, wow. that's fair. Yeah. Uh, wow. If you would have yeah, told me that, I, I would have um, never known that, dude. I promise you. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't, then, I mean, granted, I don't, like, Go everywhere, you know, throwing yeah, yeah, it yeah. at everyone. I know, I know, <laughs> I, I know that. So that. That's why, that's why I said it the way I did. I just yeah, I, I got all their music since so. now since you didn't said it. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, I did. I did not. I would not have fucking known that. I'm, I'm careful. I don't think anybody's gonna get me. That. But yeah, it's I, what bothers me most mm-hmm. about this, like that, the the Kado song that I that I showed you with. It has all the stuff in it. I've seen a couple groups do this, and I, I haven't seen it with this song. Mm-hmm. But then people remix it, 
like they release it all of this they release the the instrument on the vocals with the song as a single yeah they release it and then people obviously people are like oh dope they want people to remix it because they're get they're literally handing me the parts <laughs> yeah they really and are. then they remix it and post it and then copyright strike like <laughs> what like what's the point like how why why put it in there if or why make it easy if you're just going to copyright strike it <laughs> exactly no I, I get and i get what you mean by that definitely because i actually i think have... that's one of the biggest problems when it comes to like people doing remixing what they, they don't want to because it's going to yeah. copyright strike the, it why would i do anything that, the, to be honest that's why i haven't touched um i i think i have i still have the acapella the legends never die but i ain't did nothing with it because Every time I do a video or a music video or something like that, like I've done two both on YouTube. You well, I mean, you know that. Actually, no, I did three. I did three. I did the right. Um, the taking over one, the survival one, and the um, run DMC one. All three of them are sitting on copyright claims right now. Matter yeah, that's fact, one is actually. The run DMC one I did, that one is actually blocked in a couple of countries. Good lord. Yeah, that's why I separated that's one reason why I separated the music and art channels. Aside mm -hmm. from like somebody coming in expecting music and getting art and vice versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, but I, that because if like if I have it on a separate channel and I make a remix and the company's like, hey, I want the money from this, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm doing that for fun. And yeah. I take it. Uh if I make money off it, I'll just make it off the original. It's, it's fine. But I also don't want, like, if that channel happens to get struck down or something, I don't want it to affect the art channel. That, yeah. And see, that's what I did when I fucked up. I fucking, I actually, believe it or not, that YouTube channel I'm using now is my second one because I threw a whole bunch of NSFW stuff on there originally, and I didn't think I was really <laughs> breaking any rules. And come to find yeah. out, yeah, I broke quite a few rules. They sat there, they yep. banned me, sent me a whole email, said, you broke this TOS, this, it was about six things I fucking broke. I'm like, damn, I didn't even know I did doing all that. Right. <laughs> right. Hell, yeah, I, it's. I, to be honest, I appealed to them just to be an asshole. <laughs> I'm like, you guys just show me the mother two. I'll take the other four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm trying to see if I have something in here. Well, yeah, all my stuff's gone. But yeah, this is, this is what I normally. Right, and mix in. I, I still have to reinstall all this shit. <laughs> I thought you got all that in. That's a lot of goddamn shit, dude. Yeah, I mean, so a lot of it's repeats, like the the uh, G gain. Uh, and then there's the the guitar stuff is pretty much all repeated. And yeah, honestly, it's mainly like two or three packs worth of VST stuff. But yeah, it's it's still a lot. I was gonna say, yeah, that still sounds like a lot. Like this, yeah, yeah. it's it's still a lot. But yeah, this is what I normally. This yeah. is probably my favorite theme for this software. Mm -hmm. It just looks so clean. I mean, like, if I want to do this real quick, just to show. When you set up the colors. See, let's see, all that stuff y'all be doing, you with Taki, LGC, I can't do all that. That, that shit look like it take years to learn. I ain't, I ain't got years to be learning all that. I know more. Maybe I was still I'll, put it, I'll put it this way. It doesn't take years to learn the process. It takes years to get the ear. I know what sound good on this, don't it? There, like, there's... Like you can set up, like I have this here. This is a template. I, I need to redo my mm -hmm. template completely. But like I have it set up color coded. So like, again, this is all uh, color coded. So if, no matter where I move it, I know exactly what part I'm messing with. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but like there's things where like you go in, you're like, okay, this part needs a compressor. I need to get rid of this this frequency with the with an eq or i think this would be better if i pulled out some of the low end on the end you know something stuff like that is this is a part actually on um uh let me 
thing on that golden freezer thing the rock version of it like i wanted to try to get rid of the freezer part but that's just so goddamn hard it doesn't help that freezer's <laughs> voice like voice is probably in a different frequency range than most no 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 it's actually like the crowd singing it's not her him oh okay i was gonna say if it, if they sampled him that might be difficult just because his voice is so high oh really yeah i think his voice feels like it would be just outside of that like you'd get rid of some of the lower end parts but you'd still have the the higher part <laughs> the higher parts no and no that that's actually totally understandable so like like i said when like programs look for vocals they're looking in that mid range like from low mid to high mid and everything in between is where they're looking for the uh for the vocals that's why the that's why this phase part thing so so good cuz it's you're not looking for the frequency you're literally just count, canceling out the waves that match that so like this this instrument track will cancel out the instrument track waves from this and that's what leaves you with this just the vocal. And obviously the the vocals will add more to some of the instrumentation when it's mixed together so that's why some of that lingers around. Well see here's the thing I tried even to pull it pull that part out and just put the instrumental in but you can tell I did it. You know what I mean, right? It yeah, does, that's like that millisecond of skip, and it's just like, mm, I don't want that. Yeah, stuff like that's where you have to start getting creative. <laughs> again, there's parts in in my remixes where it's like, uh I'll have like a space or something that look that sounds weird, so I'll like cut it, like cut it in the space, and try to make it smoother or. Like that'll be an instrumental, like break for like a beat or so. Yeah. But but yeah, it's that's that's one of the things that you have to deal with when you're trying to remove something from a song. It it can get like I said, it's it's simple, but it can get tedious. No, I I agree, I agree, I agree. <clears throat> like full full blown total. No, like I mean, like I reinstalling can't... programs. It's easy. You just click buttons. But it takes forever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's. It really make you not feel like doing it. I mean, fucking it, reinstalling yeah. all this shit. <laughs> I, I reinstall people, it on the go. People, that's what I'm doing with the with my music stuff. Yeah. Pretty much, I'm gonna bring up that template, pick a couple things, install that, and move on. Come back later and do a couple more. <laughs> No, and I don't blame you. Especially since some of those are like uh, older versions of the installer and not like the super updated versions because most of my stuff was gifted to me. <laughs> and some of it I've gotten from other places and a lot of it's like the freeware stuff that just has the weird installers. Yeah. So it's <laughs> it's it can't just be simple as clicking buttons anymore. No. That's what I told. That's what I told people when it come to um, when it goes to getting like certain games, I only go to one spot because I know the system, I know how it works, and I know what it needs, what it needs to do. But right. they and plus they're always you know updating their selections. And I've I will been, say I do I do miss the the old just download a game and install the game over the like the the installers. Yeah. No, I don't even need to install it. It's just, it's just you, you gotta um, you gotta be able to um be one of the uncompressed files. That's the thing. Oh, that's easy. Just download you, WinRAR and then never you, pay them. You, you you'll be you'll be surprised how many people don't want to do that. <laughs> I just use Seven Zip. It's just faster. Yeah, Seven Zip's a good one too. I'm just familiar with WinRAR. <laughs> And it's funny because people will be like, we'll download WinRAR and they're like, but this is only a demo. It's like, no, it's not <laughs> the full version. Just don't pay them. Like, <laughs> the WinRAR literally gives a forever free version. 
Somebody else is telling me that too. Yeah, that's all. You literally just download it, and then when it comes up and says, "Hey, will you pay us?" You just hit exit and then use the software. I think the only way well you can't get away with that way is fucking Adobe. They tried to send you to their damn website and every damn thing. I'm like, man, y'all better go the fuck on with them. Yeah, that's why. That's why my my Photoshop mm-hmm. is CS5. Really? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you can see it there. But... Oh, CS5. Damn, dude. I mean, I could probably get CS6, but a friend of mine had that code laying around. He didn't want it. I was like, I use five because I only use it for thumbnails. <laughs> I use yeah. it to make like thumbnails or, or quick, uh, like, uh, graphic design type things. Oh, no. That, and that's totally understandable. Because Clip Studio Paint isn't good for. The graphic design stuff it's focused for like drawing yeah no so, and, and i agree so uh, it's like i'm not i'm not gonna pay 50 to 100 bucks a month <laughs> for a subscription yeah. or like i think it's like 50 bucks for a like a, a code for cs6 i'll just get cs5 and be happy <laughs> oh what's that i got i've gone and just got everything um 2022 but I'm really only, you know, I got reasons for having all of them. Like, i.e., I'm just practicing and playing with it and just, um... I mean, if my aunt it. would let me use her Adobe stuff, cool. I'll use I'll use yeah. that since, since she already has it. But I, I'm not paying that much for that. I, I, and I don't blame you. And that's, right. that's actually why I stopped using Photoshop for art. Because I used to use CS6 because I, I got a copy from the my old high school because I still talk to my art teacher every now and then. And he gave me an old copy of that and then that copy stopped working. So I was like, screw it. I'm I'm not buying Photoshop. <laughs> you can try me, Adobe. Because I guess um, when you retire old copies of like the, the, the school versions or something, when you register the new ones, the school, the old ones stop. I don't know something. It's dumb. I mean, it's also Adobe, but yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Like but yeah, it's they uh, it stopped working. So I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing the subscription thing, and I'm not paying that much for six. Yeah. And then I looked around, and at that time, Clip Studio Paint was half off at twenty five bucks, <laughs> and a one time purchase. That's not a With bad updates price. for life. No, that really. Ain't I mean, bad. that's really not a bad price. Like to be honest, the standard version. Actually, I don't know which one I'm sharing, but maybe you. Like, paint. Why now? These are the regular prices. <clears throat> 50 bucks for the regular version, which is what I have, which is more than enough to do what you need to do. Yeah. Uh I think the the monthly plan is mainly for like uh for the app for like uh mobile stuff, I think. <clears throat> oh yeah. Okay, so they have one for Windows and Chromebook and all that too, but one time purchase. Photoshop, Adobe it's this we artists are poor we like to see this <laughs> yeah but like i have the pro version it's it lit- it has everything i need i don't make comics and i don't really animate okay. and even if i did make comics i could do it perfectly fine on pro <clears throat> eventually i want to get the ex because this has some of the the dopest features I've ever seen. <laughs> so basically the difference is the pro base just lacks a few things that EX has. EX I think gives you more animation uh, capabilities. It gives you uh, more comic book tools. Yeah. And some of those comic book tools are 
make makes life so easy. Like I could go outside, take a picture, put it into Clip Studio Paint, and it will convert that picture into an ink drawing. Like a manga style line art. That's actually uh, interesting. Like, very like, excuse me. <laughs> very like very yeah, I'll take a, a ten of them. And not even that, they've up like with artists in mind, they've made the vector layers not a hassle. Try to imagine that one. Yeah, a lot a lot of fucking programs make vector layering <laughs> just so fucking hard. It's like, oh my god, y'all. Like, like they have an they have a vector eraser tool where you can just erase one line to an intersection. Let me pull it up actually. Um, Not to mention thing loads fairly quickly for what it is. When I um did someone's icon, like I was like this is when I first got like After Effects. Um mm -hmm. I had like I had like one hell of a time like trying to convert it into a vector layer that way. I could like mess with it and implement it, you know, add the lightning and everything else to it. And then mm. give it that metallic shine look and everything else, but <clears throat> make it spotlight all at the same time. Well, moving spotlight at the same time. But I like, right. I could, like, literally, like, just eventually just like look it up. Once I did that, though, you know what I mean? Like, it came, it came out perfect. Like, I would have to show it to you. Like, that was, like, yeah, the like, first one I did. That's another, like, we were talking about earlier, like, the community being there to, like, help people solve problems, like, online. Mm -hmm. Clip Studio has that, too, and that's one of the things I love about it. <laughs> you can even put your Photoshop brushes in it. That's actually so, interesting. Like, no joke. Like, I have, I drew this with the, with the vector layer. A little square here. This is the vector eraser. As you can see, it's I don't know if you can see my cursor or not. No, that I can't okay. see. Okay, so the cursor is super tiny. Like if I go to the regular eraser here, that little that little strip, that's all it is. Yeah, now I see it. That's as, that's as big as my cursor is. So if I switch over to this other one here that I highlighted, erase that, it erases the whole line up until the intersection. Or if I don't want this bottom half. <laughs> when I tell you this tool saves time with line art, it makes me hate myself for not using it. <laughs> really? Because I'm so used to working in Photoshop that I just go straight to my uh, raster layer and, and draw. <laughs> yeah, man, that's... I think that was everything you were asking about, though. Oh, no, I really was just, I was really, well, one, I was asking, but two, I just wanted, to, I wanted to want you to be able to come on and, you know, speak your mind, everything else. Cause you I don't like have so, much in my mind. I just kind of. I was say, like, you, I know you really like talking about audio or music and stuff like that. Honestly. Oh, yeah, I could go on for days talking about this stuff. Like seriously. It's it's just fascinating to me. Like with all the things that you can do with audio and like if I had my stuff installed, I could like I could pull up a, a whole project and just run through it. <clears throat> but it's it it's crazy. I mean how far they've come with like the technology to to do stuff like Pull the uh, vocals out of a track, or yeah. set up, you know, just the the instrumental. And I mean, they have tools now that are like guides for, uh, for like chords and melodies and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you see, that that be my thing. So it's like you know, I don't try to. Oh, how can I say this? Like, I don't mind trying to learn, like, how to do specific things. You know what I mean? But I also know, like, how much I'm willing to, like, take 
You know what I mean? To well, I just say, right. hey, can X, Y, Z person, you know, just go on and do this for me? You know what I mean? <coughs> I yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with knowing, like, where your skill set stops. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, there's a certain point, like, where if you refuse to admit it to yourself, at that point, you're just wasting time trying to do something that you're going to end up having somebody else do anyways. So like if you're like, okay, well this this gets a little bit confusing for me. I'm just gonna go ahead and find somebody, yeah, throw some money in their face, tell them to do it for me. <laughs> that's funny. <clears throat> like for real. But I mean that's and I mean there's nothing wrong with that. Because I mean there's even stuff like i I still email Joey Sturgis about stuff. I'm like, hey, yeah, I got a dumb question for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh because like I've, he sent me this. Uh, you might like this. If you like it, I'll, I'll actually send it to you. Uh, I think it's in samples. Not there. Not there. Where is that? That's suction cup man samples. It's like I'll show you, Mom. Where did After I put effects it? first thing I did. Hold on, real quick. Let me. This is the very first one I ever did. That's why I said I fucking I sit here and I just I can just take something and just run with it. You know, come up with that. Trying idea. to find the kit, I because th- I think you might actually like this kit. Oh boy, where is that damn shit at? I really did this two months ago. Huh. I didn't think I had that that long. Let's slow it up real quick. Okay. I didn't know. I oh had yeah, just it. to show you, okay. all those guitar tones I make. Yeah. These are all. This is all of my. Uh, guitar IRs and Paul's responses. This is like really? the amp and mic setup. Like if you were to record an actual amp and mic, how you have the mic set up on the cone and all that. Yeah. That's what all this is. And like there's you get it goes deep in there. Oh shit. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna have to I really hope I'm not going to have to try to find that again. Kits. Well, technically, that's what you're doing right now. <laughs> I fair. mean, I'll have to I'll have to try to get a hold of him again and oh. send it to me again. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? What? The, the kit from YG Entertainment. They don't know that I have. <laughs> you really got a kit from them? Yes, wow. it's actually one of the kits that that's uh used in their music. Wow. Yes, always use that. Are you gonna go to the next one? Yep. Yeah, that suction cup, man. Uh, you pop Joker from. I need to do something with these. This is Joker from uh, Persona Five. Killer Instinct announcer. Yeah. And stuffy. That's suction cup, man. No. <laughs> What was that? I got a, quite a bit of like voice line stuff put up. I lost a lot too though when my um hard drive uh went out on me though too. I I will admit that. I really lost a lot. I lost a lot of like voice sample stuff I wanted to use. So now it's just like like I was telling you earlier, you know, you just getting what you want on the fly instead of just getting a whole bunch of stuff. 
Yeah. Because that's really what I was, that's really what I did originally. I just got a whole bunch of voice lines and stuff like that. I was like, I eventually use this for something. Because that's all I really do. When I come up with an idea, I'm usually at work. I'm just at work. I'll play a song in my head and I'll be like, damn, I could probably do something with this. Or I'll come up with a concept in my head and I want to try it. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to download it again. But uh, Joey sent me this. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Why is on my damn mind? Hmm? You think um, what you was asking me about. You think you can, uh, you know, the pig from Dead by Daylight, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, I can always look it up, too. You know what the damn pig is from Dead by Daylight. From the Saw series, that pig. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know. Because I've never played Dead by Daylight. Okay. That now it makes sense. Okay, okay. <laughs> you think you can make a Kirby version of that? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's that'd be super simple. I mean, the... The struggle would be getting the cute. I mean, unless you just want it straight up horror, like then yeah, definitely. Did you pull ball off? Probably, yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, do it. Do it as a favor to me. It's not I got for you. me, but do it as a favor to me. I, I got I'm, you. I'm gonna pay you for it. Just uh, like that's why I said, just give me a number the wrong way, and I do it. I just, I just realized I, I knew it's something <clears> I meant to tell you, and I. Okay, yeah, I'll get what I'll, I'll get a hold of you, and then we'll figure it out. And I'll take down the notes, and mm-hmm. I'll do some research, and I'll get back to you on a number. I already got the um, I got the stuff, like reference. Oh, stuff. Dope, dope, you, dope. That, you know what I mean? I already got that. Yeah, right. definitely. That'll definitely help. Yeah, I can't find it. So Joey sent me. It was it's like this atmosphere pack, right? Mm-hmm. And all it was was uh. It's got like atmospheric sounds, and uh, th- you can hear it in that uh, crazy train remix I did. Yeah, <clears throat> it, it, mainly towards the end of the breakdown, like the the bass drops and the atmosphere and the uh, it's like behind the breakdown, like those parts. That's yeah. what he sent me, and I can't find it in my samples, even though I am sure. That I saved it in these. Cinematic, yeah, that's just the stabs. Atmospheric. I, I was even, I was even, um, right. who was that? I can't remember who the hell I was talking to about that. When we was, um, we was having that sit down, me, you, and somebody, I want to say SBC. And, <clears> um, I think you went AFK. And I said, then I told him, nah, matter of fact, I was streaming. That's what it was. I was streaming that thing. And like I was telling him, I was like, bro, y'all don't realize how rendering works for After Effects. I'm like, dude, that shit time because some like Yeah, it takes think, forever. Yeah, y'all think doing <laughs> a project takes about three, three or four hours to <clears throat> me. The rendering on After Effects for shit like shit that I do, that shit'll take down to six hours just to fucking render and be done. Mind you, this That's is only good. about oh, like gosh. not even twenty <laughs> second stuff. Because of all the stuff I have to do to get it in there. Like Yeah, like like I mentioned in the chat, it's like the the job of somebody doing uh VFX is like ten percent work and like ninety percent waiting for it to render. Yeah. I know people who do that work that had that have bought three PCs so they can get multiple jobs out in a reasonable time. I believe. I can believe it. <laughs> it's crazy. That, that's what I said. Right now, I'm actually, I'm actually contemplating going R nine. I might just do it. I might. And that's the big. There's nothing to lose with it. You might as well try it. Nah, my shit already overkill. You know what I mean? If I add R nine to it, that's just like that's what I said. Like most shit at this point, yeah. if I get it, is really to say I have it. I can find a Not reason yet. to have it, but you know what I mean. Right. Like, take a look at this. This is like literally my first fucking project. This literally took about was it eight seconds? Yeah, this took about four hours just to render. Like, real talk. It literally took about four hours just to fucking 
render. Hold on. Let me. That's a dope render too. Hold on, hold on. Let me redo this. It fucked up. Why is this not? Oh. Because I got to have it set on here. Like, that literally took me literally <clears throat> about four hours. And that's only eight seconds, dude. Yeah, like, like it, and it's I, I, and I'm really not. And to, and, and to be real, um, man to man, I that's not. Oh, uh, how can I say this? Oh. Uh, That's not even 100% what I wanted. Like, it's just right. like, but I realized, like, you fucking with certain, like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say shades. Um, Let's just run tones. Like, metallic, metal, steel, shit like that. When you go into that, that makes, like, colors look totally fucking different. Uh, like the textures. Yeah, there you go. The textures of it because i tried to fucking i wanted to throw it green right Cause yeah you know, i wanted that, to learn to do stuff like that to make little intros like that for myself but yeah it's a headache it, it really is like i like that's what i said that <clears throat> that took me about four out four five hours like and then you have those you have those uh sites that that have the the ones that you can like try out and then download. Yeah. They're never all that great. Mm -hmm. Like I've, I think I've found one that I've liked and it was that, that old digital, uh, glitchy one that I used to use. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. And, and they I want like... you to pay like 10 bucks for it or something like that. I'm like, if I'm going to pay money. I'm just, I'm going to get somebody who's going to make something what I want. Exactly. Or make somebody make something that I know I'm gonna like. Yeah, that's why I said like when it comes like the art and shit like that. Like if I'm gonna buy art or I'm gonna <laughs> buy videos, buy intros and shit like that, I'm willing to spend two or three hundred dollars. I don't care. Anybody right. can tell you that. My thing is, <laughs> I know what I want, and I'm gonna want that. And if it's not that, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm not gonna pay for it. That's why I had several people tell me, like my OC, my Soul Society OC one. Mm -hmm. I had at least six people tell me they could not do that before I found that person who was able to do it. Because that that, that shit strikes me as weird too. Because like that, is it the one that you show like at the end of your streams and stuff? No. Oh, okay, I was gonna say cause that one doesn't look that complicated. Mm 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 mm. I'm talking about the souls, the one with the chain and the big ass guns and all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the eyes in the back and all that. Yeah. That ran me probably about, I ain't even gonna stunt. Shit. About $180. I ain't even being fun. I'm dead. Yeah, that sounds like a steal, too. Yeah. Because um, that's it sounds like a decent bit of uh, detail. Yeah. No, I was very picky because I knew what the hell I wanted. Because. Like, I can. And see, I like clients like that because I can send them something and say, hey, let me know what the change. Because the way I do it is, okay, so, like, the person comes to me for commission, like, sure. And, and I'll try to come up with a sketch before we talk about price. That way, I know what I'm getting into. They know what they're getting into. And sketches aren't usually that difficult. Nah. <clears throat> and they're scratchy as hell, so. Mm -hmm. But you figure out a price. Usually, I, I'll charge usually, like, anywhere from 1 to 200. It just depends on how long i think it'll take the the detail and uh usually i tack on the uh like if they're gonna use it commercially and i do that by the way i know a lot of people look down on that but like i do that for one big reason if i charge you for a, like a commercial fee yeah that protects both of us i can't come out one day and be like well i don't want you to use that for i don't want you to sell that like no, you bought the rights. It's yours to do whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> and then I know that that's what that is. So like, if I forget later or something like that, and you didn't do that, and I told you yeah, you can use it for that, and I forget, and I'm like, well, I didn't want you to use it for that. 
it avoids an issue basically. Yeah. But, uh, after the sketch though, I send it to them. If they approve it, we, you know, we get the price stuff out of the way. And then I'm like, okay, give me a direct, like, give me direction. Which ones do you, cause I'll send like three or four, maybe more like thumbnail type sketches. And be like, well, I like this one from the first one, this part from, you know, that one, this one, draw them all together, figure it out. I send it back get more feed you know more feedback and the more the client knows what they want the easier it is basically i agree i agree and it may not even turn out exactly the way both sides wanted it mm -hmm. but it usually gets super close to yeah. the point where everybody's happy with it Agreed. and that's my goal because <laughs> i don't want to waste people's time yeah. or my time yeah. or money and that, that's 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 why i understand when a lot of people just like tell me they can't do what i want because i try to be right pretty fucking precise about what i want because i know um, that's that's what that's why i do the process that i do because it doesn't turn into uh well here's the sketch do you like it yes or no and then i go and almost finish it send it back you're like oh well i kind of want this this and this change I'm going to send it to you between every step so that if you want something changed, we can do it then. Mm -hmm. And I don't have to charge you extra for more work. Yeah. Which makes sense. That actually makes a lot of damn sense. Yeah. It saves clients money and time or it saves, saves clients money and my time. Yeah. No, I, I legit agree with that. No, that, that was it. I got, <clears throat> I got the shit already put up. I didn't, I think you need to give it to me. Honestly. Yeah, just send it on over. I'll look it over. And, I mean, if I need anything else to, like, reference wise, I can always look it up. It's not that big a deal. Yeah. But uh, anything you have, I will gladly take that way. That's less searching for me because I will spend hours looking for stuff. <laughs> no, I, mean, I don't blame you. That, that, <laughs> that's why I said, like I said, I'm very big when it comes to art and stuff. So I'm very picky. So, yeah. Especially when it comes like the characters and stuff like that. Like, uh, I can't think of a name right now. I would need the rank one of Dead by Daylight to tell me she knows she knows all Dead by Daylight. Like that one female that I like. I can't Uri Uri us some shit like that. I can't think of a name right now. I went and looked at some art from her. She got she got some pretty decent art out there. Yeah, that's and dope. I'm not even, dope. I'm not even that big of a, you know what I mean, dead by daylight fan. But I can appreciate a legit character, you know, right. especially with some good art behind them and a good story. I can, I can. That actually, that. the reference thing reminded me too. I'm going to share a uh, clip studio here for a second. Mm -hmm. I need to. God, I hate how it works sometimes. There we go. Did you okay? I thought it. I thought it decided it was gonna stop reading Clip Studio Paint again. Oh, so this is when I'm looking up reference. One of the things I spend most of the time on is looking up poses. Yeah. And uh, the dope thing about Clip Studio Paint is. They have all of these 3D assets. And if, if you want to do a pose, like they have a whole ass, uh, laid, laid out for you. Yeah. Like they have this whole ass 3D model and you can change this model too. Like if I, I want the head looking up. Yeah. Oh, that's that's the whole center. I, I just just the head. There we go. If I want to look it up and over, I mean you can you can change everything about this. Yeah, I actually I um... want that leg down. You just highlight it and put it down. I mean, it, they also have a pose matcher. So if I find like a picture online and I really can bring it in. And it will match the pose with this. Really? The, yeah. It's let me let me see if I can figure out. I've never used it. I. You going in and out, dude? 
Yeah, my internet's probably being screwed. Am I back in? Can you hear me all right? Yeah, for the most part, yeah. I got you. Okay. Yeah, my internet likes to be dumb. Let me uh, look this up real quick. Paint pose match. Click out of one of the live streams here. Pose scanner, that's what it's called. <clears throat> uh. I actually did want to get a 3D version of my OC. I live fun like literally. I literally had two people say they would do it. Ain't heard back from them since. This was like back around my birthday though. Right, right, right. And then I had one cat. One dude said he would draw it. Like, nah, I was gonna have him draw. Uh, I won't say who I allow in uh they style. And to be honest, some no, nah, I know what it was. I know what it was. I ended up moving. That's why I never got back with him about that. I just really thought about that. Cause the dude he does like um. He draws like different uh, female content creators. The, the boy good. I got you. He's very like, like he's very very good. Like for real, I seen he drew some pretty, you know, like partnered female streamers, and yeah, mm -hmm. he got talent. Like, I'm not even going to sit there, like, for real. He got time. Hey, that's dope, though. If I was, honestly, if I was still on Twitter, I probably would have him do that. But I'm not on Twitter no more, so I can't exactly reach him. And I didn't think right, about that right. until, like, right now. Dead serious. Yeah, I don't blame people for not being on Twitter, to be honest. No, I'm I'm not gonna stunt. If we being adults about that, I do miss it because of the art shit. Oh yeah, the art stuff's good. Yeah. I just I don't blame people for not being on there because it is super toxic. So wait, you about to really actually take that and put that into that image? Is that a three D thing? Yeah, I'm. Importing it now, I'm, I'm trying to figure out where the hell the poach scanner is. Oh, is it? Its this, own is, thing? this is going to be interesting. I'm hoping this isn't like a thing. Oh, no, here it is. Post scanner. Okay. Oh, let's try that again. Yeah, there you go. Huh. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's that is damn near. That's damn near close. No, I, yeah, I would, I, mean... I, would, I would take that. Yeah, you could have kept the other one on right where she was at, dude. That's a whole goddamn couple pose right there you just did. Real talk. Yeah. That's what I said, man. Y'all y'all need to look into then y'all need to look at different aspects of shit, bro. Yeah. Just oh yeah, I mean what, I what I would do still have I would up. move I was just, the one that's sitting there. I was hiding I would, it so I could see this. I would move a down so some more so towards like the middle part of her back. Right. And then just make it to where her hand is like on top of her foot while she's laying up. I would do that. That's like the absolute perfect pose. Like for real. The the only thing that you could probably argue to change up a little bit here is like moving it so that it's more because she's more at like an angle like this yeah you'd have to fight with it to get the hips up and oh that's that's not that's definitely not going to get you where you want to be sir yeah that's that's not going to do what i wanted to do <laughs> yeah it's I, it's I finicky i have to 
you trying to get it to where it like it moves it's one as part. close as possible yeah I, I see where you're going with yeah there's there's a way to where like you can grab it and then it'll move the i just i can't remember the points where it lets you do that but yeah like it that's the first time i've ever used it and that got way closer than i figured it would yeah, that's actually not bad. You should keep whatever you're using. You need to keep that. Like, real talk. Yeah. And I spent 25 bucks for this. Really? Yeah. Like, <laughs> I paid half price. Like, every three months, they, they put it on sale for, like, half off. And, like, it's it doesn't even stop there. If mm-hmm. I go... Let me make, see if I have my... Because uh, I keep line art from other artists to go and practice coloring and shading and all that yeah i don't mind because i have i haven't been like super happy with my shading because it's what i'm doing now is like super common Mm -hmm. like almost everybody's doing it and i've been wanting to do like a uh uh like a watercolor look to it i i think i know what you're talking about so i'm I've been downloading, if I find, like, a line art I like, I'll just download it and then have it as, like, a something I could just practice on in my own time. Yeah. Oh, here we go, line art. No, 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 totally. Yeah, the reason why I'm bringing up line art, though, is because the software also, <laughs> also allows you to, uh, or also adds a function where it will color the picture for you. Not bad. I mean, it's it's not like a super perfect coloring, but like this is really interesting, and I've seen artists use this in some of the most creative ways. See, that's why I tell people like, <clears throat> like I got so much shit like broken down into pieces, like. Because once you really start working on something, bro, you have to either A, re-record shit, or B, hope you got something already recorded that's what you're looking for. Yeah. Like, it's, I guess, so many, that's what I said, I, I'm always, I just literally, probably a few days ago, just deleted about 200 different damn files. Just shit I know I'm not going to use. Yeah, I I chose this picture for a reason. Uh, where is raster? Okay, so this picture has because I can show you two different functions on this. So the picture has a white background, as you can see. Yeah. So, in Photoshop, you can remedy this by going to multiply, making a multiply layer, and then if I make a layer here, and I'll make it. It's brown. So you make it a multiply layer and you have your line art, right? Yeah. One here. <clears throat> because this is a uh oh, what the hell because this is a uh basically a manga making or comic making software. Mm-hmm. By the way, this have you ever heard of Manga Studio? No. Okay. That's what this company started out as, and then they switched. Oh really? Yeah. Like, I was considering picking up when it was Manga Studio, and then I kind of forgot about it because I got used to being in Photoshop. Yeah. So I can take, since this is a comic and manga based thing, part of what they expect you to do with it is to uh, traditionally draw out your, your line art and then bring it in to... Uh, you know, to color and ink and all that. That's one function they planned on people using it for, which is accurate because people do, even with Photoshop, they sketch it out and then they paint it on Photoshop. <clears throat> but we have, I don't know if you can see the file drop down or not. Uh, no. Okay. So I'm, I went to the file here, down here, or edit. I- yeah, okay, so if you go to edit, they have an option called convert brightness to opacity. If I click that, 
now it's not multiply layer. It is just the line art. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That way you don't have to do it. Like if you do like the multiply and then obviously there are situations where you draw under it and then it still has the white and like if if you do like a transparent background or something, you still see the white with multiply. Yeah. With that, it's just that. So for the the coloring thing I was telling you about, make this uh uh I don't remember what it's called. It's it's a lighthouse and it makes it so that reference layer. That's what it's called. I'm smart sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> uh okay, where is it at? Colorize technology. And then, so I know you can't see it, but it has in the edit, it has a thing that says colorized uh, technology preview, <clears throat> technology preview in uh, parentheses. So you can either do a hint image in colorize, which is where I believe you just like throw down colors and then it uses that to, to color it with. Yeah. And then it has a colorize all, which I'm just going to go ahead and click. It's going to do its processing thing. I think I fucked up. Let me go here and put a layer under it here. There we go. Now let's try it. Yeah, way to go, 13. Uh, yeah, show the thing and then and then do the thing wrong. That's That's smart. Did it not work? Do I have to do it on here? Let me try that again. I haven't messed with this feature much, so I'm not exactly sure how it works. Well, it says it's processing now. There you go. There it is. That's... Wow. Is that not like crazy? Yo. That takes but, about <laughs> literally. Oh boy, that takes a lot of time out of somebody having to work on some shit. Oh boy. That's. Cause, so I've seen people use this in probably one of the most interesting ways. They don't use it to fully color the picture for them. Yeah. But they'll like lay the flats down and then like do some shading and all that and then they use this to add an extra layer of like interest under it yeah do me a favor give me a uh, full screen of that if you can can you do that full screen yeah yeah all right uh, i think it's shift give me... there we go all right don't do nothing i'm about to post that cuz that 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 look good dude. i want to post that in discord that does. And I don't remember who the line art is from, but just a random line art. <laughs> is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, well done, dude. Like, for real. Like, that's... that's crazy. Like, I didn't draw this, by the way. I, I didn't think you did, but because you were yeah, talking this about is... line art, I figured you probably got some, a bunch on file already, to be honest. Oh, yeah, I got I got a ton. Like I said, I downloaded the so I could practice I sit and I don't have to like, like draw a whole picture to. Yeah, no, and, and I totally understand that. Just to practice coloring. Mm -hmm. But I actually got grabbed this one for this for a reason. Uh, did you get your screenshot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you good, you good. Thank you. Oh, shit. Because if so, I'm going to tab out and. Yeah, yep. Did. So the reason why I grabbed this one is if you notice, this is not good quality. Like the, the it's not sharp line art, mm -hmm. and like the there's stuff from like pixels and artifacts from the thing, and it's still colored it this well. It you know shocks me. Also, hold on, give me one second. Let me use the back. I'm gonna see this stuff. Too. Hold on, real quick. Oh, you're good.
Hold up. My bad. I needed to get up real quick. Oh, shit. Oh, you're good. I'm just setting up to show you the uh, the reference layer kind of thing for okay. the coloring. So I'm, I'm literally purposely laying down just messy color. No, I, I kind of forget that. So, like, I can take this, go, edit, colorize, use hint and colors. This I think has to be um, the reference layer. Hold up, at the same time too. Let me. I think I got it. <clears throat> so yeah, it's so if I got it right, it's gonna color the image. I thought it was. So it's gonna color based off of what you already threw down. Is that what we're going for here? Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. It did something dumb, though. Ugh. Like I said, I've never really used this. Yeah. So I'm just kind of playing with guessing it. and hoping it works. Yeah. No, that's, and that's totally understandable. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> it took those blobs that I drew, these, and did this. That's crazy, dude. Wow. I mean, I honestly really like these colors, too. <laughs> like, I take this and put it over here. The fact that it just did that like that is fucking insane. But. Dude. Like, for real. That, that's, that's, that's <laughs> insane, bro. Like, like, seriously. That's crazy as hell. That's cool though. But that's something to save somebody a lot of damn time. Especially if it if it gets it the way they actually want it. Oh god, it looks even better on the <laughs> Yeah, I mean this is yeah, like this is dope for I can see this saving so much time when you're like trying to get some kind of interesting gradient. Like this mm -hmm. part of the dress down here. Like it took this pink and then it kinda blended it in with some other colors. Yeah. I mean, I'd one. I'd go in and let me get that one and dude. fix up. Hold on, hold on. Give me the, ah shit. Give I'd go the... in and fix up some of the. Okay, keep that. Oop. And there we go. Yeah, give me that one too. <clears throat> That's cool. I like that man. Like dead serious. It's just the. <laughs> it's like this team of devs sat down. They're like, you know what? I know exactly what artists want. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, like I said, I could see myself using this as like a base layer for colors. I I and just like green. going in and like going in, like, like taking the, the red from this half and, you know, evening it out and editing this, this thing down here. And, I'd go in and clean it up, but like this is not this is not terrible. No, it's just insane it's really to me not. with how that that's that's pretty fucking precise, dude. That's why I said that that's kind of insane because that's pretty fucking precise. And like you said, at yeah. the bottom where you had that pink, it even added another color just to blend in with it. Yeah, that that's that's fucking crazy, dude. Like for real. Not to mention that the shortcuts in this software is nuts. Like I can rotate and all that, and I can set it to one, uh, one button to qu quickly flip the canvas. Yeah. Where in Photoshop, you hit the button and you have to wait for a minute. That is true. And after all this manipulation and all that, I can hit. The shortcut that I have, and I'll send it right back to where, 
Or yeah, right back to the, the center. Hell, it's faster to do it on Premiere Pro than fucking goddamn Photoshop. I would know. I did it. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> I did it with a video. Hell. I did and it. when I used Photoshop, there wasn't even a there was there wasn't a shortcut. Really? Yeah, I, I, if there was, I didn't know about it. I couldn't find it. And here you can customize this whole thing. Like hell, the this the, your the tool set on the on the left here. Yeah. Like unlike Photoshop, I could take this if I really want to. Put it over here. I don't think you could do that with Photoshop. Hell, if I want, I could put it down here if I want. I mean, it's. <laughs> wow. The software is like probably the best software I've ever used. I don't need it. Oh, much. I can tell. I can tell. Believe me. I can tell. And it only took me like a week to get used to this over Photoshop. Really? Yeah, it, it didn't take me that long at all. I mean, it, it's it's visually fairly similar to Photoshop. I'm still not sure, though, whether I want my color wheel stuff to be above or below the layers. I would say above. Both are both is nice. But. And like this, that's not even covering the uh, the whole asset store that they have. Like a lot of this stuff is free. I see that that's um. Well, I'm say, well, um, but what I showed you earlier, like, like just to even change the color of that, like, they that has to be like literally rendered in. Like that's that's not, a, that's another thing, actually. Yeah. If yeah. I want to go, just show something else. If I want to go. Like if I'm doing flats for an image, like yeah. flat colors, and this saves me so much time. Let's say I draw something in this color and I decide I think I would rather have it in green. One bu one button. One button. That's or maybe right. in purple. I have that that action set set to number four on my small keyboard. Yeah. Whereas in Photoshop, you'd have to clip the layer, make it block the pixels, come up here, yeah. change the color, and that do is that the, or pick do that. the section and all that. Yeah, I give it to or, you. Or no, oh, oh, this I don't know this software. Because I was skeptical at first, because people were like hyping this up. I was like, I'm going to get this and it's going to be a waste of 25 bucks. I just have that feeling. Because it was between this and uh, I think it's called Paint Tool Sci. And then I think Crito was another one that was free. <clears throat> but uh, or Crito was a free one. And I never really liked the look of Crito and I felt like it didn't have enough like enough tools so to speak so i was looking at this and uh paint tool sci you know the crazy thing like that's actually when i first looked at after effects i thought i was like man how the hell am i supposed to do all this shit and i didn't <laughs> like i didn't i didn't fucking think it had like i'm like bro you want me i'm trying to sing and i'm trying to do something like they talk about i could do this do that and the other and then once I like like you said, you know, look up tutorials and shit like that, I'm like, oh, okay, so I do got enough shit. It just a I whole gotta, new world. I'm like, yeah, I just gotta play with this, <laughs> that, and the other, cause I like I said, like when I showed you the first one, I wanted to add more lightning strikes, but god damn that shit, a motherfucker to do, like it, it's it's not a motherfucker, but shit, it it adds to the how can I say this? 
I'm going to show you the, the other thing that I like about Clip Studio. Mm -hmm. yeah, it adds it's, to the it's, it's in a different window, though. So you got a position in a certain, certain way and everything else. I'm like, shit, all right, y'all. Shit, this is some real shit here. Yeah. I think that's right. No, for real. No, that's, that's not the right one. That is, that was the tutorial I was looking up to try to get, figure out the color. Oh. Discord is just terrible at naming the windows. <laughs> I think this is it. There we go. That's it. Okay, so normally when you open up Clip Studio Paint, this is what you see. Mm -hmm. I have it set so that the actual painting software, the return to paint. Yeah. This is the Clip Studio. And paint is the actual painting illustrated thing. Yeah. I have the illustrative thing set to my taskbar so I can just click it and it opens it up. But oh. this, this is the selling point and the reason that made me want to go with Clip Studio over Paint Tool Sci. So, I mean, you have all these programs, like you have Photoshop, Paint Tool, Crit, and all these. They're all cool, but you have to kind of go out of your way to find good brushes. And even further out of the way to find good free brushes. Yeah, I can believe that. And here, you literally just come down here to where it says Clip Studio Assets. Click on it. If it ever loads. Sometimes it takes mine. There we go. These are all assets. Like th this is all stuff that you can get to use in Clip Studio. So like if I wanted to see if I wanted to pose, uh, put sword and search. You get all these. <laughs> And these, like, you just download them and then you just drag and drop them. And then brushes, you can do that too. Except of that detail. Uh, and this is like people are uploading these. Like, this isn't like Clip Studio Paint all making these. Yeah. They have this set up so that as an artist, you can upload your, your assets for people to use. There's one video that I found on YouTube that's extremely helpful because it gives you what to search in Japanese to find the brushes that you want. So like instead of typing like line art, brush here oh I thought he gives you, knew, you the i thought you knew part japanese for the most part korean korean okay but uh i still don't know how to read korean yet my dyslexia has not been nice to me there oh really yeah it, dude dyslexia makes it so hard to learn other language so i'm trying to pick up like verbally where i can <clears throat> i'm gonna find a day to sit down and like Hammer in the Korean alphabet. It's the Korean alphabet, if you didn't know, was made to be easy to understand and learn. Like, realistically, you could take like one Korean class, like a, an hour or two class, and leave knowing the Korean alphabet. But yeah, it's, he's got like the words, like instead of line art, he has the word in Japanese for you to highlight, copy, and paste into here. Yeah, all these, and if you notice, a lot of them say free. Yeah, a lot of them really do. And one of them are like uh, Clippy Points and Gold, which you can earn, I think, by selling uh, selling your own stuff on here. And you can, I think, purchase some. But honestly, you don't, you don't really have to. 
sometimes they'll just give you some just to give you some yeah and but most most of the free stuff is really freaking good i really that's really what matters last thing you want to run into is you know you get what you pay for you know what i mean yeah it, and it's insane how like it's weird how much that saying does not apply like to to clip studio paint and all and sometimes they even have like uh little explanations here on how to use them which is nice that's me first i kind of like this brush actually that looks nice i save it and like i <laughs> i try not to get on here too much yeah because uh i will sit here and spend hours on this rabbit hole no I mean, there's and, and so it many and ain't nothing wrong though you know what i mean you you interested you interested it's just there's so much good stuff for free on here that and i, I guess it's also doesn't help that i haven't really uh settled in on an actual style yet so i'm still like trying different brushes and stuff yeah yeah like downloading is fast too like click download please wait it's done that's very fast you don't even stop there if if like you know how in photoshop they have like chain brushes and stuff like that like like they're brushes that are like when you draw it out you get like a chain. Yeah. Or like ink or something like that. Like you get that here. Like I can go chain. And as you can see, actually right here. This uh frill color thing. They've got that. They got butterflies. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Chocolate milk brush. So great. Strawberry yeah. milk brush. <laughs> That's funny. So if you're making a manhwa, the Korean version of a manga, you can get a brush that will just make a chocolate and strawberry milk for you. Koreans love their milk. No cap, though. I will die on this hill. Banana milk is the best milk. Oh, no. I gotta, I gotta agree with you on that. Like that I, I love banana milk. <laughs> yeah, th I mean, all these assets, uh, all these. It's insane. And usually when I use brushes like this, I tend to find that, oh, I actually really like this. I tend to find more often than not that like the the thickness of the, the brush the, of the outline yeah. doesn't quite match. So I'll just, I'll use these as the base and then draw over them. Like that'll be part of my sketch and I'll just, I'll draw over it. And that way the line thickness matches what I'm doing. <clears throat> but like this, another reason this caught my eye is I've heard a lot of, uh, Manwa artists that make like web comics in Korea yeah. are switching to this because it's making the, since a lot of those are just like one person making a comic, it reduces the workflow immensely. Yeah, that's if you're ever curious of why I use the program I use, now yeah. you know. <laughs> no, I definitely. In short, it is the best thing that has ever been invented. Oh. Ever. <laughs> I definitely can tell you know what the hell you're doing. Like, for real. And, like, if, like, if you use Photoshop, too, like I said, this is, it, it's really easy to pick up. Like, once you get the basics, you can kind of move stuff around. There's different stuff that you can add. I don't know what this says, but I like the line. <laughs> so I'm going to take that and try the brush. 
yeah i've been trying to find like uh rough brushes that kind of look more realistic which by the way is another plus for this yeah. drawing with the the basic uh stock brushes in this program uh feels like the actual things like it marks down like the real things which is crazy to me um have you ever heard of the g pen i know you like anime but i don't know if uh, not that I remember. Okay, so basically, the G Pen is the most popular uh, manga or pen used to line art in manga in Japan, and they have two different versions of it in the software <laughs> stock. Wow, it's crazy. No, no I agree. Yeah, that's. That's pretty much all I had. No, that's fine, man. Right? This has been very <laughs> educational and fun. Like, for real. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm just glad I was able to finally get you into it. Like, that's it. Hey, yeah. I'm usually down. I'm just usually working on something or doing I, something. I don't blame you, man. I'm that was it. Like, most of the time, man, I'm just sitting in VC. If I'm working on something, I'm eating, or I'm just chilling. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somebody, you know, say something and stuff like that, man. And you know what I mean? I, I've calmed myself down a lot for just, like, overwhelm myself with stuff left and right to do. But you know what I mean? That's... Right. Other than that, though, you know, I still got still to do what I got to do, too, all the same. Like, for real. No, nah, yeah. I really wanted to get you in myself personally because I know, man, it's like you need, you really need to. That's why I've been staying on you because I told you, man, you you got talent. I appreciate it. And you got, I appreciate it. And you got, you got probably more experience than probably me, LG, and Taki probably combined. You know what I mean? Especially with your definitely on the on, screwed end, that's for sure. Yeah, on the yeah on the status aspect but, and all that. Yeah, but. You know I mean, I mean, thankfully, thankfully, most of that status has been forgotten, and I can actually go places without getting swamped. <laughs> really? Yeah, like every every now and then, I'll be recognized somewhere, but it's rare now. It's kind of a relief. <laughs> but I mean, people do start remembering. I mean, I get every now and then I'll get like somebody recognizes me, but I'm happy with just being known for drawing stuff. Yeah. Not, not having nut, nutty fans. No, and I, I'm not totally understand that. I just realized I can download a spoon. Like for real, that... you you can get a spoon and a fork. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, I was just going through here looking at the models, but like, stuff. I'm sure you've heard artists complain about like there's something they're not good at drawing like uh i hate drawing like phones in people's hands or something or yeah. whatever like you can in here i can just type in 3d model phone spoon and just be done with it yeah like you can here flip phone uh a regular phone there i mean th these cost it. some points but i mean it's all here oh here you go free phone yeah that's just crazy to me. Let me. I'm going to. Let me. Uh, I gotta see where I put all that stuff at. Took me that hard. Uh, hold up. Yeah, and close it out there before I get too lost in the yeah. store. <laughs> like, is it if if I don't stop myself by the time I'm done, I will have like a million that I have to go through. <laughs> no, and, and I believe that. It's like when you're when you go out shopping and you you have like endless money, and you just get everything. Yeah. And then you point, think it's great, and then you get home and then you have to put it all away, and then you're like, this isn't great anymore. <laughs> yeah, because at that point you just buying it just to buy it. Yeah. If, if I sit there and keep downloading, then I have to go in and sort it out. And <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was fun. It was fun. I'm about to see this. Hopefully you can you'll be able to use the uh the thing for the music to help you out with whatever you need to work on too. Oh yeah, definitely. 
totally 100 percent like for real, for real. like that there's how about that like it was more so about like getting you in here and then you talk about your audio shit and that shit work and stuff like I'll that. have to come back in when i'm i'm ready to mix and we can talk while i mix or something that hey I that'd am, be fun i'm legit i'm telling you like man like just for real let me like just like let me know when like for real let me see if I yeah can. maybe i'll get the the villain one set up eventually and i'll jump in and do that one yeah no actually that that would that would actually be perfect like real talk that was it oh, like yeah. it's it like i said man it'd it be on y'all man i'm i'm always i'm in the same spot that was it oh, yeah. i don't I don't respond. I'm either at work, I'm out as a damn light, or I'm with my daughter. That's about it. Otherwise, I'm hey, just I'm all just, understandable situations. Yeah. 